Hey team, this video is for those of you who have had two or more Fit 3D body scans. I'm just going to take you through how to use the comparison section, the comparison reporting on your Fit 3D dashboard. So once you're logged in at fit3d.com, just put in your username and password and it'll come up with a wellness report similar to what's on the screen now. If you then go on the left hand column, if you've had two or more scans, there should be a comparison button that pops up. So simply click on the comparison and then your two images will come up. It'll have the date at the top. The date is in American. So this is reading the 7th of March, 2017, comparing against the 3rd of August, 2017. But if you want to change what period or what scan period you compare, you can simply just go into the drop down menu and compare different periods. I mean, most people will use this function to determine how successful was a particular period, or if they're looking at a specific eating or exercise regime, they could always compare different periods. Um, you should be able to uh, you should be able to spin your images around as much as you want in 360. So this guy obviously has lost a lot of weight, as you can see at the side on view. On the right hand side of the screen, it'll graph your body shape rating. So it's started at 12 and it's gone all the way up to 58. So this guy obviously made a lot of progress. It also put it in a table format here. If you look at body shape rating, starts at 12, the current's 48, and it shows the difference of 46. Not everyone is this smooth, but this is obviously a very good result. It will compare your trunk to leg volume ratio as well. On the graphs, you can always click it and toggle the graphs below if you want to see a specific reading. If you go into the top right, Look at body composition and they'll compare your body fat percentage, baseline, current, the difference. Compare your weight, which obviously lost a lot of weight. Compare your fat mass and also your lean mass. Down the bottom, the graphs aren't very distinct unless you toggle over the specific names. So right now it shows the body fat percentage graph over time. You can click on that to get rid of it. If you want to specifically look at weight over time, it'll graph that, etc. The next thing I'd look at would be going to the measurement section. It'll compare your waist and hip measurements over time. And again, you can just click on the words to get rid of or bring up the graphs. And here you can look at your arm measurements, your leg measurements, or there's some additional torso measurements. The main ones I look at for health progress would probably be your three waist measurements, your waist, your max waist, which is a maximum circumference I could find around your midline and your natural waist, which I believe is taken at the belly button. The waist itself is taken at the arch of the back. And then I'd also look at the hips. I mean, these four measurements pretty much tell it all when you're looking at how healthy is your body shape. If the thigh measurements at the same time, for some people, if you've increased bulk in your thighs, they might stay the same. That could be seen as a win. A lot of people will trim those up there. It'll also give you a posture comparison report. I've looked at posture reports in a bit more detail in another video, so I won't go into this. You can print out a report if you want, um, a comparison report. Again, it'll give you options on which period you want to compare, and they'll put images side by side. You can just easily print it off and send it on to your trainer, or some people might just give their trainer full access. Once you've had more than two scans, it's also quite interesting to check out the comparison um, additional measurement section. So I've made a video on this uh, elsewhere, so check it out, there'll be a link below. But you can access a whole lot of additional measurements if you go into the three horizontal bar icon on the left of the screen, click on scan history, all of your main images will come up. You just click on one of the images, go to the bottom right of the screen and click on download measurements. You'll get a whole lot of additional measurements that'll come down in Excel. And I've described these in a lot more detail in another video. Yeah, that's the main stuff on your comparison report. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email, peter at healthandfitnesstesting.nz. Otherwise, happy scanning, guys.